Hey everybody, Don Dabney from Left Coast Classics, and this is just really an incredible preservation car. It's a 1949 Pontiac Silver Streak with just fit, just over 50,000 miles on it. It's incredibly original. It smells super original. And anyway, this is a great car. And in this video, I'm gonna take you around the car. I'm gonna take you under the car, but first buckle up because I'm gonna take you for a ride in this car. This thing just gets up and goes. The shifting is just buttery smooth and easy. The car drives nice and straight down the road. It's got great suspension. The brakes feel good. All the gauges are working with just the exception of the clock. And uh, you know, the heater fan, the radio works nice. Uh, I gotta warm it up in order for you to hear it. Yeah, so there's the radio. The lore of white supremacy. It's the original it radio. Lot, it's cool. You have to you have to warm it up. It's got a little CB installed underneath, but it's it could be removed very easily, and you wouldn't see a trace of it. Maybe you like to talk on the CB. I don't know. Anyway, nice loud horn, blinkers, lights, heater blower, uh, just beautiful working order. The wipers do not work, but I you know why why worry? I, I think this is fair to say this is a fair weather car and not something somebody's going to want to take out in any sort of weather given its preservation status. Just drops down and downshifts easily, brakes feel good, stops straight. It kind of does everything it's supposed to do, which is cool. All right, so there you go. Be sure to check out uh, the rest of the video. There's gonna be several more minutes of the video. I'm gonna show you a lot of the car moving forward through this video. But uh, also, if you would, my uh, YouTube channel's now somewhere around 8 million views. I'm trying to get the subscriptions up. It'd be really cool if you could hit, you know, subscribe and hit the blinger there for the, the notifications. It's kind of fun because even if you're not into buying a car, it's fun. You can go for a ride in a different car all the time with me, which is super fun. Um, check us out on, uh, you know, the social media sites. I think we're Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram. My website, if you didn't see this on my website, but you saw it on some third party site, um, you'll go to my website. There will be a second folder with another couple of hundred photos. My number's down below. Check us out on Wheeler Dealers. Uh, three episodes so far, we're on, uh, let's see, what do we do? We do in 2013, we did a 57 Ford Thunderbird, 2018, a Lancia Fulvia, 
and our latest episode is a Triumph TR4. So check it all out. Give me a call if you have any questions, and thanks for checking out this cool Pontiac Silver Streak. Okay, we're gonna head underneath the Silver Streak and what you'll find under here is just a beautiful undercarriage. Just 50,000 miles of indoor living, man. California, most of its life here. And so these floors are just, they're beautiful. No rust, no rot, super nice. Look at this, even the, uh, the springs still have the wrap on them. So, pretty phenomenal. It's got newer shocks, you can see up here. I don't know if they're newer, but they're, I don't think they're original. And if you get up into these inner rockers, look at these things, they're just perfect. I don't know if the lighting's good, but these look just as good as the other side and the lighting will probably be a little bit better under there. Plus there'll be a lot of still photos. When we get up into here, everything's just tidy and good order. But I'm really impressed with this. This is, these are really something else. And then up here, you'll see there's an electronic fuel pump installed. So that's nice to have. Just overall in really good shape. And you know, it's not a, uh, I mean, you can have some wet seals because that's the nature of a 1949 anything basically. So it's a little damp, but it's not a leaker by any stretch. Just super nice under here. Very, very clean undercarriage. Right after this, I'm going to do the magnet test, so stay tuned. This is a little super weak magnet, and I like to go around the lower part of the car with you. And it's the first time I've done it too, so I think it's all going to be pretty good, but let's do it being original. Well, it's just grabbing everything great so far. Oops, I lost my other magnet with a little handle on it, so. Looks like we had a little touch up paint here, but the magnet's still grabbing it really well. Yeah, you know, bear in mind too, a lot of this car, it has a lot of its original most of its original paint. It's been touched up a little bit as needed here and there. So it's been really a preservation car. So I don't think this is something anybody wants to mess with on that front. Hang on, we're gonna go over to the other side. Okay, now we're up at the front right fender. Just pure, me pure metal. Now we're on the front door. Got some thinned paint and some touch up below. It looks like when things have thinned out in certain areas, they've just touched it up or resprayed it. And we have a little bit of that here and it's worn off. You can kind of see it in there. Kind of part of the beauty, bit of the patina and well, par part of the whole reser the uh, preservation thing, which is nice on the old car like this where they, they haven't overdone things. Cause I think like Wayne Carini said, they're only original once. So that's just definitely passing the magnet test with flying colors down that whole side as well. Now these are fender skirts, so we don't really need to do those. So that's just beautiful. I mean, we've got this weak magnet sticking everywhere on the car.